both points of view on the news are tonight times now strategic affairs expert maruf raza ajit doval and dr udipan mukherjee are on one side of the debate dr mukherjee thank you for joining us he's in our studios in delhi maruf raza and uh, ajit doval former director intelligence bureau on the other side we have madhu sareen who's a tribal and forest rights activist professor hargopal visiting faculty at the bangalore national law school dr saroj giri is an assistant professor of political science and taking a midline i am told is atul kumar ranjan i don't understand what the midline in this is uh, mr anjan can you explain what the midline is on this the point is this the very outset i want to say this the ghastly murder and the killing of the congress leader we condemn on behalf of the communist party of india the whole nation is shocked with this ghastly attack on the parivartan rally congress people but one thing there are security lapses and i just want to remind you arnab ji in the month of march we also organized on behalf of the communist party of india a big rally from sukhma to jagdalpur and more than 30000 people walked on feet and they covered 15 days 300 kilometers i was also the part of that What there was saying? no security but at the same time the in- no no i am saying no security but at the same time the nearby villages people we went to the door to door villages for months together and then we organized this no, what are you saying i say congress area were with us no, no are you saying are you saying congress leaders no, one, one, saying, one, 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 are you saying congress leader deserve to be attacked i don't understand the argument you know this this whole competitive politics no, no, is no, what no, is, I am is, telling, is what is listen why why you are why, try, why you are trying to inference out of that my thing no because I because i find mr anjan there are two Ms. ways Mr. either you get no, no 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 i then no, no. either you get either you, just you listen or otherwise it's a very mid line you are saying just listen either you take the support of the state machinery either you take the people support so we, we 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 were trying to get but i know that in this whole issue the state government has not taken proper lesson nor they have nor they have given proper security this congress leaders rally mm. and this is one of the reason why the the naxals use or mao is okay let's get everyone in and i let's get everyone in i square no no let's let's let's, let's get everyone in no no mr anjan let's get that. everyone in and i like to get uh, you know we we've disagreed in the past but i want to hear that point of view Professor Argopal I'd like to come to you next you know the problem that I have had Mr Argopal with the positions taken by those who are sympathetic to the maoists who don't like being called maoist sympathizers is that they have one standard sentence that we condemn these killings and then they want to go into four paragraphs of what are the circumstances which called for this kind of violence do you think this that format will be applicable given what has happened today or or giving that kind of indirect support is itself dangerous i think you know it is very dangerous uh, the way we are trying to argue out who is a sympathizer supposing i am as a political scientist trying to understand a phenomenon yes and i am trying to say that what are the possible causes that why chatisgarh landed in the type of crisis it does yes then i think if you say that it is a sympathizer then i think one can't help if uh, then that means the whole academic inquiry and trying to analyze the phenomenon going into his- historical causes becomes redundant no, and then uh, supposing we say that okay this loss of human life is uh, is a problem and i think that we have been trying no, to argue no it's not loss of human then, life uh, the 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 conclusion would be that uh, what is the answer to the present uh, event represent the indian army and you know, kill the people and finish them i think if that is the type of solution we are searching for then academic inquiry becomes meaningless uh, mr bhargopal uh, the danger is that mr. it will be no no please uh, no, try mr. to Argopal, say that do you believe no no just fascism. just a small follow up just a small follow up do you genuinely believe after what is it? do you believe this is an academic subject do you think what happened in in saturday is, is an ac- academic subject uh, then yeah. th- no no what it's an academic yes, yes, subject it, it ajit doval me as an a- yes sir ajit doval let me get yes, you yes sir for me as an academic no no i say what is the function of an academic the function of I an academic is to analyze the phenomenon and explain to the society the causes why the things are happening the way they are happening right. now otherwise if you say that no, no that is an academic i condemn the incident Th- that, that very, there is uh, a matter no, and see, then there will be further escalation of no, violence no no, so no i'll tell you, you want no, to no, stop t- the escalation no, no, of no, violence no. mr 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 hargopal 
I just want to get the other side. I want to, I want to respectfully submit to you that I'm absolutely sure that as part of your academic analysis, you will also academically analyze how from Pakistan and China and from several other terrorist groups, these Maoists have been operating. I'm sure as part of your academic exercise, you will also analyze the Hawala money rackets. I'm absolutely sure, Professor Hargopal, you will also do an intense academic analysis of the extortion threats which have been made of the, from these, uh, by these groups, of which there is a fair amount of documentation. Yes, yes, uh, I, want to get, I want to get Ajit Doval now into this. Ajit Doval. Yeah, yeah. Well, well Mr. Hargopal, any academic analysis requires you are being truthful about the facts, you are putting the entire facts before the people and analyze it on the basis of a very objective analysis of those. Problem with the intellectuals who have got the sympathy is that they not only suppress the facts, they distort the facts. They deliberately bring out totally fictitious arguments and uh, inputs into the whole uh, discussion and create a narrative which is factually incorrect. Now let me tell you three basic facts. If you want to, if you want to deny them, please tell me. Is it the political no, no, objective no, of the yeah, Naxal yeah, movement yes, to take the political yes, power? Yes, yes. To take the yeah, political yeah, listen, power I, through the you. barrel of the gun? Yes, yes, through yes, violence. I will, I will answer no, no, the question. Just a minute. Is, it, really is it yes or no? Secondly. Yes, yes. No, no. First one. Please, Secondly. Please. Yeah, yeah, please. Secondly. No, no. Just a minute. Let me, let me, let me propose the three questions. You just give me the answer yes or no. Is it that the Naxalites have taken the weapons from all sorts of uh, enemies of India, right. have tried to build up the relationships, whether they are with the insurgents in the Northeast, whether they are the separatists in the JNK, yep. whether they were earlier the, the people who are having a relationship with the, uh, with the LTTE and, um, um, and some of the Chinese districts, and getting the weapons through the Cox Bazar route. Is it factually correct or not? Third thing, is it that they have not I, gone I, for yeah. indiscriminate violence against those targets, against those targets from where they wanted to derive only political advantage by terrorizing and, uh, 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 and uh, 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 stunning the people to silence through coercion? Now, if you think that no, no, there are at so least 3,000 bits in support of that, yes, please, I would like to listen to that. No, no, see. Please, you know, the, there are two things you know, of the academic world. I very strongly recommend that Gunnar Medal has written a book, Objectivity in Social Research, where he said there is nothing like objectivity in any analysis. There are certain value preferences, there is a value sir, position this, of the uh, individual, there is a moral sir, position sir, on this, thing, number uh, one. No, no, what do you Secondly, mean? if you say no, that no. they have borrowed no, no. the weapons and so you know, they have you, all that, uh, why do you think so we landed why, in this problem? So why are what you, is your explanation uh, of the Nazi movement? No, 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 Talking about academics, and you are saying no, no, that facts is, cannot be objective. Then I, you say I that know these 27 uh, people who are killed were criminals. I know a person. It has been done. Why, why, it's a part why, of the why, revolution. Why, 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 so why, that's why, over. Why, no, no, why, why, why do we? Why do we have a no, common? Why, we one second. We have a common orbit in one which we are discussing. I want to get in. I want. Let's get all views. No, no, no. The question. But you would like to project our prejudices as we subscribe to. There is no question of any academic. You see the problem with that. You see the. Mr. 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 Professor Argopal, I want to get in Madhu Sarin at this point. You see, the question is this. The question is this. Professor Argopal, one minute. No, no, please. Question is this. Question, one minute, Professor Argopal. Why do you think this problem started? Professor Argopal. Professor Professor Argopal. No, no, that's all right. Professor, one second. One second. One second. This is all. No, no, one second. One second. Why there is a problem? It means that you wanted to get out of the reality of today. Yeah, that's. Accept the reality of today and tell me what it is. No, but the reality we'll the that why that reality has come. Causation, causation does Arre, not. You have to understand causation that. Causation does not justify the consequence. Let's not make a debate between there two people. Now, we understand it. Arnab, let's not make a debate between two people. 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 Let's not make a debate between and one of the views, yes. one of so the okay. views, why are you quoting Gunnar Medal? Next you'll quote Emily Durkheim. 
Next, you'll yes. call yes. Malinowski. No, let's not. Mr. Mr. Hargopa, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You want to go academic? We can go academic. But I want you to be a realist tonight. Don't quote Gunad Medal. I'll quote Kanu Sanyal to you. You know what no, Kanu no. Sanyal said? I'll quote Kanu Sanyal if you have the patience to listen to me tonight. Kanu Sanyal said, terror campaigns don't solve problems. A single conspiratorial killing. A single conspiratorial killing cannot and has never brought change. Such actions will only cause harm to the movement and alienate the masses. Don't quote foreign thinkers. I can quote thousands back to you. My question is very clear, Professor Argopal. Now I go to Madhusarin. The question is very simply this. That academic support. You see, intellectual support, Madhusarin, is very good when there is some element, some element of understanding empathy and control. I have never heard of a situation tomorrow where a few people who provide intellectual support or sustenance or background or to a movement which causes so much bloodshed seem to have no control over it. So what happens, Ms. Madhusarin, is this, and you can disagree with me if you want to. The cycle of terror, and there's going to be a lot of bloodshed. Every time when bloodshed happens, we have the same standard photocopied reply from the same people. The bloodshed that has happened is bad. The innocents who have been killed, are, we are sorry for it, but, and then four standard pages on the root causes of all this. How long will this continue? Arnab, um, I think this is the first time I'm coming on your channel and I'm may well be the last but I think what we need to remember oops this thing fell out uh, is that uh, there is a we are talking of a context which has a long history mm. and uh, and the incident of this week which the absolutely horrific incident of this week is, um, you know, is, is one part in a continuum and the beginning, a lot of the beginning of that, you know, has led, has had far, far worse incidents, you know, uh, affecting ordinary people mm. like Salva Judum from 2005 displaced 644 villages yeah. in Bastar. And uh, my estimate is that that involved a population of 3 lakh people. Right. We don't know how many people were killed. We know a large number of women were raped, abused. We know a very large number of people were forced to leave their homes, land, everything they had mm -hmm. and move to roadside camps. Mm -hmm. Many are living in, in uh, Andhra Pradesh in squatting in forest area where right. they are uh, con continuously harassed by the Andhra Pradesh Forest Department so, because they are treated as So what is the link to Saturday? And there are a what very is the link large to Saturday? number about whom no, nobody what is the link knows to where Saturday? they went. What is the link to Saturday's They vanished massacre? in the forest. No, what is the link to Saturday's what, massacre? What Salva Judum did What is the link to Saturday's massacre? Is it pushed all these people into the arms of the Maoists. No, what is the link to Saturday's and in massacre? A sense, so long as we continue with this strategy of, you know, sending more armed forces, more this, uh, where there is, you know, the, no one is walking around with a label on their no, no, chest may, saying may, that may, I'm a Maoist. So the security forces, well, may, miss, a lot uh, of them, no, I, uh, in, in, I, I, I don't, equally pathetic no, no, miss, condition. miss, uh, I'll just come back to you. I think you need to put your earpiece back because you're not hearing my question. The question is simply this. I know the rigmarole. I know that a lot will be said about what has happened in the past. Equally, it can, a lot of other things can be argued about the number of school buildings, forest roads, telephone exchanges which have been broken up and destroyed by the Maoists. But I want to get... May I first request Ms. Madhusarin... Ms. Ms. Sarin, if you can put back your earpiece... Ms. Sarin, Ms. Sarin, can I request you to put your earpiece back there come back to you? Maruf, in the meantime, while we get Ms. Uh, Ms. Sarin back, connected, one second. Yeah, that's right. Let Ms. Sarin, I think, uh, that's right. 
No, no, Miss Sarir, I think you dropped your earpiece in between, so you, we lost out, lost you out there. Yeah, yeah. I right? I, but you see, Miss Sarir, huh. I, by the way, I have great respect for you. I'm glad that you've come on the program. Uh, what you say that it may well be the last does not worry me too much. M multiplicity of your views and plurality is something we are very happy with. I'd like you to hear, however, even if this is your last appearance, the other point of view. Maruf Raza, we've heard this argument today. I have not heard a single, di single direct link to saying that what has happened justifies Saturday's killing. It surely doesn't. Your response to Ms. Madhusari and Professor Hargopal. Maruf. No. Uh, or not with due respect to the academics and people who've been working on the ground out there, I also have some ground experience of insurgencies across the country. But let me sort of bring out a couple of points. The first thing is, I think this particular incident is clearly, once again, a resonating challenge to the idea of India. These people have gone out and conveyed the message in a ruthless manner, which terrorists often do, because this makes news and gets them back into national reckoning, especially... Uh, since so much other news is devoted to non nuxial related issues in the last couple of weeks. So they wanted to bounce back and they sought an easy target in these people. It's always said that if the terrorists, if there was no media, the terrorists would have provided a media so that they get coverage for such ghastly acts. And this is an act of terrorism. To say that nuxials are different than terrorists, I don't buy that argument anymore. Anybody killing innocents, whether politicians or otherwise in cold blood, is a terrorist, period. The second point is that this entire act clearly indicates two things. Either there was a lack of procedures that was not adhered to or complacency or clearly negligence. I mean, there is a simple thumb rule in insurgency areas. You don't go on the track in which you have gone before. So if you take a particular route, which is an exit route, then there is another yes, route but let's, that you let's have to go take into strategy in your later. way back to your location. Yeah. You don't follow the same route. They did that. This has happened in insurgencies before. Now, you know, there are various other issues that I can bring out in terms of what went wrong on the ground. But what I want to say is there are a lot of people who turn around and keep saying that, you know, getting security forces in in larger numbers is not going to solve the problem. I'm sorry. The problem has, needs a quick fix and it needs a long-term solution. The quick fix is to contain the problem before you can start addressing the grievances of the people because the nuxials, like any other terror group, don't want uh, good governance, don't want pro you know pro projects to be undertaken there which will get them out of reckoning from common people's support. There was a gentleman who talked about how the people supported them in their march right across the same area. Well, the people support you if you don't make news. If you're going to make news, the same people who are hitting out at politicians would hit at another gang of people. This is the thumb rule of insurgencies. And let me remind the August audience, never in history, and we are all to some extent students of history, has an insurgency been tackled purely by waving white flags and wearing gloves. You have to get on with the business of containing the insurgency and have a carrot and stick policy. Unfortunately, the current dispensation in Delhi doesn't seem to get its act together. In England, you get one soldier who's beheaded and the prime minister cuts short a visit and comes back to attend to the whole national crisis. Here you've got so many people who are killed and the home minister is not finding it fit enough to come back to Delhi and address the issue if he at all has the capability and capacity. Now the pointed issue is why can't all the states in India which are nuxial affected come under the same umbrella and if those revered academics have a solution to provide and believe me we've been on this route for a decade or no, more I want to there's been the enough solution. time to study and no, I want to hear the solution. papers I want which have to, footnotes and I want notes. to hear the solution no, no, it's no, my very, solution no, no, I, Maruf, Maruf watch, 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 my I, don't want, I, I want to put that question to the, to those, to, to the academics Honor, my solution one, is one threefold second. One, second. One, second. One, second. one second one second one second I want to hear the solution. And or not, I, there is, what, there is a, a Maruf, solution. Maruf, 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 you contain Maruf, the problem, Maruf, it can't you be one way, them can't be a one way conversation. And then you get into a dialogue with them. One you sec. can't do either of them. You know only Maruf the way of the bullets, nothing more than that. Atul Kumar bullet, you know. You, are, you, you want me to give me time to explain and tell you how to contain it. Saying, no, no. Arnab, how long you will continue with this debate? And a one person is speaking. No, sir. No, sir. He is using to make it a using battle using battle of troops is not always about indiscriminate firing. I, 
I, Mr. Maruf Raza, and Atul It's not a battlefield, sir. The problem with you academics is you inflate so every every situation right, into a battlefield. A situation can be contained without firing bullets. There are ways to go about it. Go on the ground and talk to the real soldiers who've done this. I want to simply ask one question. Saroj Giri hasn't spoken, neither has Udipan Mukherjee. I will open up the debate. I have absolutely no problem. I'll open up the debate just, you, just to give me some time. The question is this. Saroj Giri, right? I think yeah. the solution is development. <clears throat> Do you agree? Sorry? I think the solution Sorry? is development. Do you agree? Development... Uh what kind of development? What do you mean by development, Arnab? Oh, you want me to have an academic definition of development? Do you mean the same kind of development? Yeah, same kind of development, you know, which uh, is in fact uh, what the, you know, the state and what people like Mahindra Karma were pushing for. Are you for the same kind of development? No, I, can I tell about? you, then of course no, no, I'm against Saroj Giri, I don't live in a utopian world. You might. Therefore, I'll tell you. The question is this. No, no, I'm not. One minute. No, no, let's be specific. No, no, Dr. Saroj Giri, allow me. Please, you know, this. don't ever take a patronizing attitude with me. You want? I'm asking you a question. Answer the question. Don't try no, and no, patronize to deflect the question. You try, you try to patronize, you patronize someone else. You don't patronize me. Okay? It doesn't. It's like water off a duck's back. I'm just asking you. So, I'm asking you a question. So if you can't models. answer the question, don't try and confound it. Understand? That's the point. Well, my is, view is this. No, no. Arnav, allow me. One my second. view is this. First, you know, of course. Mr. Ma Mr. I'll yeah. ask you one second. Between 2007 and 2012. Yeah. 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 Between 2007 and 2012. Have the no, patience what? to listen to the question. School buildings have been blasted across 207 of them. 590 forest roads. 228 telephone exchanges. On 208 occasions. Railway property critical to local area development has been targeted. 76 panchayat buildings have been blown up. Hundreds of school children have been injured. Now, the simple question to you is this and then I'll go to Udipan. In my view, this busts the development myth because Maoists have targeted structures of development, lines of communication, School buildings, forest roads, and telephone exchanges. Doesn't this blow the lid off uh, this? Can you I know, this, 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 you know, this lie that is repeatedly propounded about Maoists being a bunch of vigilantes yeah. who have been forced to take up arms due to an oppressive state that is keeping them poor and backward? Well, I let me tell you, I don't believe in this. Uh, Absolutely, uh, Arnab is. Can I can I can I come in here? Yeah. Can I come in here? Can I answer? Can I respond to what you just pointed out now? I'm waiting. Hello. Yeah, yeah. No, what my response to what you're saying is that in terms of the actual facts that you're talking about, the Naxals, the Maoists demolished. Uh, you know, um, schools demolished uh, mm. the 10 other things that you pointed out. In terms of its raw, uh, brute fact, that might not be untrue, right? Oh. But you have to also then uh, ask mm. why they were doing that. Oh, right? God. Uh, why do you blow up school buildings? Sorry, educate me. Patient, why do you blow up school but, buildings? But at the same time... No, no, why do, yeah, you, but, why do you blow up school uh, buildings? Educate well, me. Because, Maybe I don't because, know something. Because... Because Why do you blow up school buildings? Be because because the school buildings because the school buildings were not really used in order to educate children, but they were just I mean, you know, there is a putting in troops. There is, you but see. anyways, I don't. I, but yeah, yeah. So so there is always a, there is always a, a reason. Otherwise, how do you think? Yeah, how do you Health. think, Arnab? Uh, let me finish. You know, how do you think otherwise the Maoists are getting the support that they're getting if they go around killing people, if they go around yeah. demolishing schools and hospitals? I because think they're they not, are not doing that. Tell you how they are doing support. that as, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, but, but I want Odipan. to actually point out something here no, in this Odipan, debate here today. Odipan, Arnab, Odipan, I want to. Odipan, counter I want, question I want, put I want, here. I, uh, counter Arnab, question I, put here is that if these facts are true, how are they getting their support? Odipan, just hear the other side. I'll get everyone in, then I'll open this up. Odipan. Yeah, Anub, uh, the thing is that uh, I think we are, get, we are deviating from the actual matter at present. What I believe and in my personal capacity is that let's focus on the event which, which occurred at Darbaghati 
yeah. and which occurred in, in Latehar in January this year. Uh, these were despicable acts of barbarism. Uh, you cannot uh, define uh, these acts through uh, mere words or rhetoric, I believe. And uh, no code of guerrilla warfare, whether written by Mao or Guevara, really uh, substantiate any arguments or put forth any arguments which say that you can uh, kill indiscriminately unarmed civilians. And this is what exactly happened at Darbaghati a couple of days back. So let's focus on that problem first, which happened uh, recently, rather than deviating uh, to several issues, several other issues which do not have direct bearing or direct correspondence to what happened here. But one positive which I uh, personally uh, feel could be taken out of this incident is the fact that, and also the incident at Latehar would hap which happened in January, is the fact that uh, the Maoists are in a desperate state of affairs. This act, especially at Darbagati, was an act of desperation. Why? Because uh, you see, they were cornered, they were challenged in their own bastion, their fringes at Odisha, or West Bengal, Jharkhand, all were being challenged, they were being pruned, and so this was a venomous outburst, rather than a concerted insurgency. You cannot call this an insurgency, this is a plain case of terror, which Mr. Maruf Raza very pertinently pointed out. This was a plain case of terror, simple blatant terror. How would you differentiate the Maoists with the Taliban if these sort of actions go on indiscriminately? This is my question to the academics and, and I put the that other question side of the to uh, argument that's going on here. I put that question to Madhu Sarin, who heard you loud and clear. She wanted to come in as well. Yes, Ms. Sarin. Yeah. Uh, Anna, firstly, as far as the schools are concerned, I think uh, school or panchayat buildings, I think one needs to distinguish between you know, whether it is teachers which have been attacked or the buildings housing security forces which have been attacked. Really? And I would like to point out that the Supreme Court under the ongoing two PILs against Salva Judum and all the atrocities against it has been demanding and requiring of the Chhattisgarh government that the CRPF etc. vacate the schools so that the children can actually study. But that, as far as I know, I'm, I'm not sure of the latest situation, but I know many deadlines were passed. And those no, 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 Ms. Madhusari. Those are actually barracks no, no, for Madhusari, CRPF. No, Ms. Madhusari, no, Ms. Madhusari, tell me, the Salwa Judum emerged as a counter to the violence perpetrated by the Maoists is one argument. Now, there is no justification no, no justification. No, no, no. One minute. One minute. No, one, no, allow no, me. No, no. I let take hear the other side. No, no. One sec. One sec. Miss, Miss Madhus, Miss, hear me. No, no. Hear me. Hear me. Hear the question. I. My question to you is that the, the fact of the matter remains that the Supreme Court disbanded the Salva Jadum, which I would say is a testament to this nation's commitment to the rule of law of the land, and that same rules that the Maoists disregard. So the Maoists disregard those rules. The same rules have disbanded the Salva Judum. I want you to bring your focus to Saturday. Answer Udipan Mukherjee what he has said. He is bringing the focus on Saturday. He says Saturday's was an act of terror. Don't disguise it through any esoteric or academic argument. Be open to the fact that these same people who you might be providing an ideological support for directly or indirectly, knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously, voluntarily or involuntarily. These same individuals may have exceeded their brief. They may be out of your grasp. And they may not be as ideologically driven as you may imagine, Mr. Reed. You believe they're ideologically driven? The people who killed, who carried out the massacre on Saturday, do you think they're ideologically driven? I have no I mean, idea. In what way? In what like way? How are they ideologically driven? I have, look, how can I speak on behalf of those people? I don't well, know who they are. Well. But I do know, I do know, and I would like to reiterate that there is this long history of dreadful atrocities in that area, not only on, uh, I mean, this is the latest case. As I said just last week, eight innocent Adivasi ah, were killed, well, no, no. including three children. You see, this is what provides the, the justification. Forces, and I want to get back, that, Maruf. Six, no, no, I'm no, not. No, no, are you not? It. No, you are I'm not. not no, when I'm asking a question, what? when I'm asking a no. question on Saturday, I, Miss Miss Sareen, I'm, Miss Sareen, I would like you to sincerely, my, my I would like you to sincerely address the question of Saturday, and that is Saturday. Saturday, what happened on Saturday? I want one second. Ajit Doval, 
You've heard this argument. Nobody's answering my question on Saturday. No, none of those, have... none of those who seem to be indirectly supporting what the Maoists are indirectly. None of them are answering the question well, on Saturday. Uh, Ajit Doval. On Saturday. On a, because on there was a, a massacre on, a, can I, can on Saturday. Here? here, Ajit Doval, please. Ajit Doval. Well, well, I have one small question to ask for all these people that in 2010 and 11, 2,000 crore rupees were collected by the Maoists through illegal means. 186 Janadalats were held, in which 76 people were their, 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 their throats were cut and they were given the capital punishment. Is it something that you justify? That you say that you don't have anything to say of who they are, but you have got everything to defend them when it comes to their political ideologies, the means that they adopt, and the causes which have compelled them to do that. Now, let us come to the point. The plain fact is this, that they are the terrorists, they are forcing and coercing the people into submission, making them to take the guns against their wishes, and sometimes using the money power that they have acquired by collecting money from the transporters, from the mine owners, from the rich people and poor people everywhere, and the Kendu leaves, and they are using this big money in which their big leaders are living with great lavishness, as has come out with a lot of interrogations, and these poor are tribals sure? are being made an excuse. You know, they go to tribal areas, they say it's a tribal cause. They go to Bihar, they say it is a caste cause. They go to the Uttarakhand area, they say it is of the hill people who have been neglected. They go to the Muslims and they say it is an Islamic cause. They try to find out anyone who has got any point of alienation to rope them in against the state. War is against the state. War is against India. They would like to establish the rule of the gun and the policy that they want to have. Is that is the thing? Sa a type Giri. of a political system yes, which is brought through yes. uh, weapon and... Sa Sa Sarojgiri's response, this five this minutes, minutes on this debate. Process. Yeah, from yeah, Sarojgiri, the please, the counter. Yes, Ajit Doval. Yeah. Yeah, from Sarojgiri, yeah, yeah, then response. I'm coming to Maruf and Atul Anjali. My, my response... Oh, no. yeah. yeah, yeah, my response is that I think what Mr. Doval is saying is very interesting and I would like all of us to concentrate on that for a minute. He said that Maoist goes in different areas from Uttarakhand to Punjab and Assam and everywhere and tries to mobilize the alienation of the people, right? And next thing he says is that they are doing it in order to uh, overthrow the Indian state. Now, my question to the House today and including Professor, uh, Mr. Mr. Doval is that what is the problem in actually addressing people's alienation? Yeah. So, uh, if so there I, is people are alienated, people are oppressed, people are exploited, yeah. you know, then okay. Maoist, I think that's a very interesting question. I would like to actually mobilize that. Well, and I, I think that is up. the exactly. real task see, Saroj, of the evolutionary force. Saroj, let me give an answer. Let, let Ajit Doval respond an answer. to that. Now, let me give an answer. No, no, let Ajit. No, 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 watch it, watch it. First of all, Mr. Doval, Mr. Doval. Alienating these people. Mr. Doval. Precisely no, no, I would like to answer. Before you come in, before you come in. No, no, Mr. Doval, before you come in, before you come in, before you come in, I'd like to. Before you come in, I'd also like to add here. We can't be ostrich. We can't have an ostrich mentality where we believe that there is no alienation. Of course, there is Not alienation. See, no, no, one second. One second. One, please. Then, then Mr. Maoists are addressing Mr. that alienation. Dr. Saroj Giri. And at some point, the Dr. Indian Saroj Giri, Dr. Saroj is not Giri. able to tolerate that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah but Dr. Saroj Giri, the, the Indian only difference. The is not able to tolerate the, the, the fact the, the, that the, people who are Giri, and alienated are being mobilized by the Maoists. Please understand one thing. And the Dr. only thing Dr. that Mr. Dazi Chidambaram's approach. Dr. Giri, please. No, no, please understand. Please, Dr. Giri, one one. So, earn up the what happened. Dr. Giri, are you going to listen to me? Get the response. And you and made a point, day, let me get a response from someone else. About, it's of Dr. Massacre. Giri, Dr. Not, Giri, hold on, Dr. Giri, I'm one minute. Deny that it is a massacre. Yeah, okay, so it's you may. Of course, a terror attack. I'm okay. not going to deny that. But, well, but then, the question is you that know, if I, 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 I have country, every terrorist. Okay, if the Maoists are giving a voice to that, one up, please. Yeah. This you is know, the Maoists are giving a voice to that alienation. Then I think that is the best thing to happen. Let's not have a, I can't compete with, Dr. Giri, let us never have any perverse logic which says that, first of all, let us believe there is alienation. Of course, there is alienation. But to use that no, alienation no, no, no. Let me, let to directly or indirectly have a perverse argument which directly or indirectly justifies such violence and terror is also ridiculous. Uh, um, yes, uh, Ajit Doval, and then I'm going to call close I'd with Maru. I'd like to add something. Yeah. A, 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 a very small rejoinder. What I want to say is this. in a free society, there are always groups who have got some demands which are unfulfilled. 
you create an alienation by telling them that you are being deliberately discriminated upon and the only solution is through the gun. Exactly. If you join us, take the gun, you will be able to throw the paper tiger and in a free political society it becomes all the more easy because the democratic freedoms are used against the state. Now this is exactly the, the, the window which the Naxalites have been using. They have been using in different areas. Where are the tribal, this thing, it's only in the tribal areas that they are talking about that they are the Messiah of tribals. How many of the, the leaders in the Politburo uh, are the tribal? Maruf, and Maruf, in, 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 Maruf. In, in Bihar area, they started using the passwords against the, uh, not, uh, when uh, it was against the Randhi Mr. Dovel, sir. And then they started taking the yes, lower, lower class Mr. and Mr. now there is a conflict between the other than the passwords. Now, now let me tell you one thing. That is, there will be. Everyone oh, no, has I, got I, one grievance or just, the other. You Mr. try Dovels. to capitalize and exploit their grievance for achieving your political objective and instigating the people to take their weapons, make them available through the money that you illegally procure from within and the help that you get from outside. Maruf. Can I, can I have a... Honor, uh, I'd like to come in here with just three quick points. One is, these problems are politico-military problems. They don't have political solutions. They don't have military solutions per se. But a combined approach to it at a national level is going to get us moving forward. The tragedy is, in the last eight, nine years, the current Prime Minister has referred to this as India's gravest threat three or four times. It is at least on record. But beyond that, nothing has happened. You know, center-state relations are so strained in some of these areas that there's no movement forward. The second aspect is you need to contain the problem. You need to contain with a far more professional military approach without, let me tell, those who are supportive of the ideologies of those who are fighting the state of India, that you don't need to all the time fire bullets to contain a problem. Yeah. You can contain a problem. My, my, you have to think through a solution of what good governance measures you will provide, whether it's schools, roads, electricity, medical, etc., etc. Yeah. And while you do that, you start talking to them and try and ask them that would they like to operate within the constitution of India or not. If that is a parameter they are willing to accept, we can still talk to them. But at, at the short of everything that has emerged in the last weekend, that this is a ghastly act and it must meet a strong rejoinder. Otherwise, the message that goes down is that the Indian state can't defend itself and at least those La who are leading word, political figures the last who will word continue to Madhu Sarin. The victims of Madhu. such acts, whether you call it ideological, whether Madhu. you call it barbaric, or whether you can, can act just to convey that their alienation is not being addressed. You see, Maruf, uh, I just have one last question to Madhu Sarin, who's been wanting to come in. I know you want to make your own point. I want to simply ask you one basic question. Uh, you would remember this incident which happened deep in the Karmatia jungles. There was an attack between the Maoists, you know, they, there was a, and the CRPF. It was Latehar, I think, in Jharkhand. Uh, yeah, Latehar yeah, you remember that, right? I mean, so, Madhu Sarin, you know what had happened then? Was that uh, a CRPF Jawan died. These uh, Maoists, they cut open the body of the CRPF Jawan. They cut it up. Then they put a one and a half kilo unexploded bomb inside his ab abdomen. They cut his stomach. Then they put the bomb inside his abdomen and then stitched the abdomen back. He was a 29-year-old uh, constable. I think, I'm not, no, Babulal something. So, when the Jawan's body was found, as soon as the body was picked up, the mine exploded and I don't even want to describe what happened to the body. Uh, I want to ask you today, which alienation how however grave the deprivation and i'm sure there is justifies what happened and no. what rules one what rules uh, no, what rules I? of what rules of combat i have just four more words man to allow me please what are these rules yeah. of combat if this is not terrorism please give me another word for it i don't uh, look i uh, the way I see it, that particular incident was, you know, the work of a sick mind, which is, which I would equate with those adults who are raping two-year-olds. Oh, right. They are equally sick. 
Don't and what's the not point in discussing individual incidents? Don't, I think don't it's terrible. I think what is important. Anyway. No, I, let me let me just get back to. I, I think the key statement. issue, which needs, how do we move forward? I, what has happened? The, this last incident of the attack on the Congress Party leaders is dreadful. I don't think anyone here uh, agrees that you know th that is acceptable. But so are so many other things which are not acceptable. Mm. And if we are to move forward, how do we move forward? Well, just we need because to, uh, you know, create conditions for justice. This in, country in these areas. Mr. Dowell, someone just talked about, you know, need to stick to the Constitution of India. Let me point out that the Constitution of India provides special protection to tribal areas yeah. from where, you know, a lot of the laws can be withheld. Well, I, I asked a very specific question. I now, asked you a question. I asked you what word you would said, use to define what I mean, happened. Provided, provided the tribals don't resort to terrorism, ma'am. Provided the tribals don't resort to I'm such dastardly what, acts of terrorism. I, 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 think, I think, you see, what happens is no, the cycle of violence is to that stop that somewhere. And, 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 and while I, while I, while I, while I don't believe, while I don't believe, everyone knows there's alienation, not no alienation can justify terrorism. No alienation. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on the News Art Debate tonight. Thank you.